Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and to listening to this particular broadcast. My name is Rita Stewart. For those of you whom I have not formally met and you can learn more about the work I do over at RitaStewart.com. Today specifically, I wanna to talk to you about some information that I garnered from a conference that I, excuse me, recently attended with several financial um, professionals. And I specifically serve as a financial educator through Legacy Financial Wellness, a Five Rings financial um, agency. And today I specifically want to share with you about some insight that was shared with us at the conference as it relates to what's about to happen in the year 2030. And granted, we are on the eve, so to speak, of 2018, going into 2019 right now. So think about it, 2030 is not that far away, particularly if you are one who is looking to um, be proactive about your financial status. And that's particularly what I'm gonna be talking about. So the gentleman who was speaking to us at that particular time at the conference, his name was John Oliver. And so he is a um, financial services specialist years in the profession. And he was sharing with us the fact that the growth rate of the elderly is going to surpass the growth rate of children by the year 2035. So specifically, and I'm going to reference my notes, there will be 78 million adults over the age of 65 versus 76.4 million children under the age of 18 by the year 2035. And the thing that, there, there are many things about that that is huge, but particularly some of the things that I want you to um, take note of or, or, or just think about is the fact that for those, that increase in population of the senior group, Things that we need to think about are retirement income and what that can look like for them and the notion of chronic or critical illnesses that will likely increase because the senior population will be increasing. And specifically, there are or we need to be aware of the fact that there are some problems that are going to come about as 2030 um, begins to creep upon us as a result of us having a senior population. Um, we need to be considering alternative health care options because we will be living longer and therefore we want to make sure that our finances or our funds last longer because we will have um, a longer lifespan. Um, longevity is a gift. It's a beautiful gift. Um, however, with that gift, there will come some challenges. I know that some of us have already um, taken steps to invest in perhaps long-term care or disability care. Um, but my question I have for you specifically is, do you have smart life insurance? And yes, I know that many of us do not like to think about or talk about the concept of life insurance because we generally think of it as death insurance. But in reference to smart life insurance, there are only 8% of the population who has life insurance policies with living benefits. And what do I mean by living benefits? There is an opportunity for you to have access to life insurance that provides income or provides funding that could be available to you should you have to face a, an illness, whether it be a critical illness or whether it be a chronic, chronic illness. And I can get into the details about that one to one. And all you need to do is reach out to me for more information on that. But with the aging population that's on the horizon, there is the possibility of you from a parental perspective or you personally um, having to manage two uh, critical or chronic illnesses because of the age and population. And with life insurance that have long-term benefits, there are specific riders that will support individuals for chronic and critical care. The other thing to consider is with this particular policy that has riders for living benefits, if you find that um, you have health insurance, which will take care, of course, we know the doctors and or the hospitals, 
health insurance does not cover your personal expenses. Any bills or payments that you may need to make, co-pays, regular expenditures each month. With long, excuse me, with living benefits, the funds can be accelerated directly payable to you to support you in the case that you have to suffer or that you suffered um, a critical illness or chronic illness or you find that you have to have um, long-term care, if you will, because you are living longer and you're not able to take care of yourself. So one of the things that I have heard in terms of pushback um, because people have, oh, you know, you may have a million dollars in the bank. That is awesome. But would you really want to take your life savings and um, risk having to spend it down in the case of you having a critical or chronic illness as opposed to your making the decision to contribute to a life insurance policy that can um, that has living benefits where funds can be accelerated to help take care of you. So that's something to think about. The other option to consider, you know, many people just don't realize that life insurances now are indeed smart. They're different. They're not the same as they have been in the past. There are certain life insurance solutions that are available where you can turn an income stream on and you can turn an income, excuse me, income stream off. And in some cases, um, that could be tax-free income that's available to you and or your beneficiary. So we can talk more about that as well. Right now, my goal is to ensure that you have access to this information. And, and while I'm on that point, information, there is a lot of information about options to support you to have um, your income last your lifetime and or to support you with long-term care or disability care as needed. So much information in the marketplace. But understand and know that information, all of that information can be so confusing. My goal here is to educate. My goal here is to educate to help you know how to most effectively apply the solutions, uh, additional smart solutions that are available to you in the marketplace. And the other thing that you want to consider is you want to diversify your portfolio. You want to diversify your portfolio and not just as it relates to your 401k, a 401k is a good thing. It's a good thing, particularly when you are leveraging your um, employer's match to that. But you also need to remember that with a 401k, you are taxed along the way. There are products that are available to you that are tax deferred and you can continue to save funds in preparation for your retirement. Um, with tax deferred um, retirement planning solutions. So understand and know that. So back to insurances with living benefits. Should you incur, should you incur a hiccup with an illness, understand and know that an insurance solution with living benefits can help break that fall tremendously, can help break that fall financially on behalf of your family tremendously. So again, here are some problems that we will incur as a society as we get closer to the year 2030. Um, and you want to ensure that one, you're protecting your family. Two, um, I'm looking at my notes here, that you are able to retire on your own terms, okay? Retire when you're ready to because you have positioned yourself to have your income stream set to last you your lifetime. You want to ensure that you're able to manage health care costs effectively and not have to dwindle down your personal savings as a result of a health incident. You also want to make sure that you have your money positioned so that you do not outlive your money, okay? So understand and know that there are many, many, many solutions that we have that can support you with ensuring that you would be prepared should you experience a health crisis, should you um, find that you are living longer and therefore you want to ensure that you don't live or outlive your funds that you have on hand. So I invite you to reach out to me. Go ahead and schedule a one-to-one -one consultation if you like. If you found this information to be helpful, please do 
um, share this with a friend and invite them to reach out to me as well. If you feel that you are totally positioned and that you're in a place where you are able to leverage living benefits that I have referenced, then great. And if you feel that, however, if you feel that there's an opportunity to learn more about living benefits, then go ahead and note that in the comments, more info, and I'll know that I need to connect with you as well. So go ahead and give me a like and a thumbs up, you know, if you feel that this information is of value to you and that you'd like to know more, I'd really appreciate it. Again, my name is Rita Stewart. You can find me over at RitaStewart.com. You can also find me on the web if you're looking for me at Legacy Financial Wellness. I will be more than happy to spend some time with you and or your staff so that you can learn more about these benefits that are available that many people are just not aware of. Let's get ready for 2030. Let's be proactive in ensuring that we are solidifying our financial legacy. Until next time, blessings.